measurement of cardiac output using the fixed principle dye dilution technique thermodilution technique fixed principle the fixed principle states that the amount of substance taken up by an organ or the whole body is equal to the product of the blood flowing through the organ or whole body in unit time and the arteriovenous difference of that substance cardiac output is flow through the whole body in unit time to measure cardiac output by the fixed principle the rate of oxygen absorbed by the whole body is measured and the following formula is used cardiac output liter per minute equals o2 absorbed per minute by the lungs milliliter per minute arteriovenous o2 difference milliliter per liter of blood to measure arterial oxygen blood is taken from any systemic artery and the partial pressure of oxygen measured to measure venous oxygen, mixed venous blood is obtained from the right ventricle or pulmonary artery and the partial pressure of oxygen measured. Arteriovenous oxygen difference can then be calculated. Dye dilution technique A known quantity of a suitable dye or indicator, Q, is injected into a large peripheral vein or the right atrium. This passes rapidly into the right side of heart even through the blood vessels of the lungs, through the left side of the heart, and finally into the systemic arterial system. Serial arterial samples are taken and the concentration of dye is measured in these samples. A curve, as shown in the following diagram, are obtained. In this instance, 5 mg of endocyanine green or cardiogreen was injected into a large peripheral vein at zero time. Serial arterial samples were taken. None of the dye passed into the arterial tree in the first three seconds, but then the concentration of dye rose to reach a maximum in about six to seven seconds. Thereafter, the concentration of dye in arterial blood starts falling, only to rise once again following recirculation of the dye. To measure the cardiac output, the early downslope of the curve is extrapolated to join the x-axis. This gives the time taken for a single circulation, or T. The calculation of mean concentration of the dye in the arterial blood for the duration of the curve is done by measuring the area under the entire initial and extrapolated curve, and then averaging the concentration of dye for the duration of the curve. Indicator detection has been simplified using non-invasive spectrophotometric methods with a finger photosensor which have recently been implemented with excellent results. Cardiac output is calculated by the following Stewart 1897 Hamilton 1932 equation is shown here. Cardiac output milliliter per minute equals Q into 60 by CT, where Q is the quantity of dye injected in MGM C is the average concentration of dye in each milliliter of blood for the duration of the curve. T is the time taken for a single circulation in seconds. Thermodilution technique. The indicator method was further developed with replacement of the indicator dye by heated or cooled fluid and temperature change measured at different sites in the circulation rather than dye concentration. This method is known as thermodilution. In this technique, the indicator used is cold saline. The pulmonary artery catheter, PAC, also known as the swan gans catheter, was introduced to clinical practice in 1970 and provides direct access to the right heart for thermodilution measurements. PAC is balloon-tipped, which is inflated. This helps sail the catheter balloon through the right ventricle to occlude a smaller branch of the pulmonary artery system. The balloon is deflated. After the catheter is in place, it is used in cardiac output measurements. To perform the thermodilution cardiac output measurement, a fixed volume of cold saline is injected as a bolus into the right atrium through a proximal port of the PAC located in the right atrium. Trans right atrial thermodilution. The injectate mixes with the blood as it passes into the right ventricle through the tricuspid valve 
and then into the pulmonary artery. Temperature of the blood in the pulmonary artery is measured by thermistors at the tip of the PAC. A small amount, 10 milliliter of cold glucose at a known temperature, can also be injected into the pulmonary artery. Pulmonary artery thermodilution through a proximal port of the PAC and the temperature is measured at a known distance, 6 to 10 centimeter, using the same catheter with temperature sensors set apart at a known distance. The degree of change in temperature is directly proportional to the cardiac output. Low cardiac output registers temperature change slowly, and inversely, high cardiac output registers temperature change rapidly. Under this unique method, three or four repeated measurements or passes are usually averaged to improve accuracy. Modern catheters are fitted with a heating filament which intermittently heats and measures the thermodilution curve. 